This is a cool funk saxophone lick from Maceo Parker that's good for intermediate level players to learn. Now this lick comes from the funk tune The Chicken. It's a classic. And this lick is a good example of connecting from the one chord to the four chord. Let's take a look at this lick and let's see if you can play it by the end of this video. Hi, I'm Donna from Donna Sports Music, and if you want more tips to bring your playing to that next level, as well as licks to sound like a pro, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified when new videos are out. Now this particular lick is over a concert B flat 7 chord, that's alto sax G7 and tenor sax C7. And it appears at around two minutes into the video. Now that link is also going to be in the description below. Here's the lick again. There's not much to it, but the thing with Maceo is the timing. It's the exact placement of everything that he plays. He doesn't play a lot of notes, it's just what he does with those notes, what he does with those rhythms for those notes. Let's listen again. As you're listening to this, can you feel the smaller beats, the subdivisions? In other words, can you subdivide each beat into sixteenths, sixteenth notes? That's the key to transcribing any of Maceo's solos because he doesn't just play, you know, on an eighth note upbeat or eighth note downbeat. Notes are going to come in at various spots of each beat. So the first thing that will really help you transcribe Maceo or any funk music is to feel the smaller beats as sixteenth notes while you're listening to the track over and over and over again. Be patient with this. You may not get this subdivision thing right away, and that's okay, but start doing this now so that it'll eventually get easier for you to play this music. Now let's listen again, and let me know in the comments below, does this lick start on a downbeat, or does it start on an upbeat? So downbeat or upbeat? It's definitely an upbeat. Now, if you didn't get that, don't worry. Listen again. As you keep listening to it, you'll also want to figure out if it's starting on the upbeat of beat one, beat two, three, or four. Let's listen again. Did you notice that it started on the upbeat of two? Well, knowing where the lick starts will help you to remember it better. It helps you to feel the timing better as well. In terms of note choices, another thing that Maceo does is that he uses the lowered third, the flat three, often in his solos. Listen to the concert B-flat seven chord again, and then check this out again and listen for that flat third. <laughs> That flat third, by the way, was the highest note in the line. Now, to connect the one chord to the four chord, he's actually going from the seventh of the one chord to the third of the four chord. He just places a note in between. I also hear a little grace note in there as well. Check it out. On that four chord, he's just outlining chord tones. He's not adding any notes outside of the key at this point, and it still sounds really cool. Another thing to pay attention to is the articulation. It has to be precise or the timing gets off. So there's not a lot of slurring going on here. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I play this lick many times because I want you to get it in your ears. In other words, to audiate it, so you could recall it at any time and figure it out on your instrument. So, do you think you could play that lick now? Give it a shot and let me know in the comments if you were able to get this lick. This is a great lick if you're having difficulty connecting chords and are just starting to get into funk music. Try to learn this lick in as many keys as possible and don't forget, make sure you set up that metronome and keep subdividing 16th notes so you could lock in the timing with this lick and any other funk licks that you want to play. Want more cool licks like this? Well, people that support my YouTube channel get access to many licks, PDFs, and lessons not seen anywhere else. And for this lick, 
they're also getting access to the backing track that I used to play it. Head on over to patreon.com slash Donna Schwartz music to get access. And hey, don't forget, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell to know when I release the next Maceo Parker Lit. Thanks so much for your time. On that note, take care. Have a great day.